that we should be investing more in. It keeps us safe, it has spin-off effects, it provides technology to the private sector to allow the energy sector and others to, to thrive. We should be, as the governor said earlier, cutting ribbons and talking about more growth, but the fact that the uncertainty has created this, uh, this uh, sort of environment that we're in is really a shame. It has been said that this American Eagle needs both wings to fly. And uh, another way to state that is we need the right and the left to actually work together in that creative tension that we call compromise. Figuring out a way to meet our, our fiscal realities and our, and our budget realities and do it in a way where, yeah, sure, we, we agree to disagree, but at the end of the day, we don't default to these job-killing sequester cuts. For people that work in government, we know that there are smart ways to go about this in a balanced approach, and there are ways that uh, make no sense. I mean, to talk about the airport, not to mention the fact that there are five airports in Maryland that starting April 1st, their uh, air traffic control towers will close down because they have to furlough everybody. Well, if you have one air traffic controller and he or she is furloughed, then you shut down. So that ripple effect, the person that works in the restaurant at, uh, whether it be Salisbury or Hagerstown Airport or up at Martin State Airport and works in the baggage, all those people's jobs are now uh, uncertain. There's a better way to go about it, and we need the folks in Washington to come together uh, and lead us forward in a way that helps us all do our jobs together. We would like to believe that somehow those are things that are just going to affect other people. While these job-killing sequester cuts aren't going to just affect other people, they're going to affect all of us. And in some states, like Maryland and like Virginia, uh, states that serve our nation's science and security needs, more so than other states, uh, we, have, we have a lot of moms and dads who right now are, are watching that evening news knowing that it affects uh, you know, the kitchen table and the family home.